Yes, that's right. It's Sunday afternoon, which must mean it's time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Oh, yes. Hello, yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat, where we're going to be taking another trip around the world, looking at your boats and where it is that you sail them. This week we're on episode 88. Oh yeah, we've come a long way since we looked at Will's Hobie 16 in Hawaii. I just checked that out. That video is actually only two minutes long and we've been going strong ever since. And that is because of you guys sending us pictures of your boat so that everybody can look at your boats. It is the global Joyrider TV community that is keeping Show Us Your Cat going. So thanks very much for that. And there is, of course, the opportunity, if you haven't yet been featured, to send pictures or video of your boat so that we can look at it in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. Very nice. Even if you have been featured before, Perhaps there's something different with your boat or maybe you sail somewhere different or you've just got some new, very good footage that you think the community should see, then that would be very nice. Uh, the biggest feature this week on Joyrider TV, as it has been the previous weeks, was the Q&A. Some very thought-provoking questions coming in and some very stimulating answers. If you want to take a look, you'll see in the video description, there's the times of which all of the different questions came in. So um, if you're looking for something specific or if you preloaded a question and want to know when it was that I answered it, you could just check it out there and that will save you some time if time is limited. I'm coming to you from Wild Wind in Vasiliki on the Greek island of Lefkos, where it's not as cold as it is everywhere else. Had quite a lot of communication from people in Canada who are dealing with some very low temperatures. Hang in there, guys. Wrap up warm. I'm sure that before too long, the ice will thaw and you'll be able to get out sailing again. But for now, we're taking a look at some sailing in the USA. We're pirate themed this week. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's jump in and take a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. So we're starting off this week by heading to the USA to Beaufort, North Carolina, where we have Christian. Christian has got a Hobie 14 from about 1980. Christian's just 15 years old, and here's the story. Christian went sailing on this 14 a couple of times about a year ago, and after a while, Christian's friend just gave it. Um, at first, Christian didn't know what to do with the boat because it had some soft parts on the hulls. The gel coat needed to be redone. The sails weren't looking too sharp. It looked pretty awful. So Christian's grandfather got involved. Christian's grandfather is none other than Captain Horatio Simbad who is a real big boat person. He's built his own boat in the backyard and named it Mika 2. And this boat is kind of a brigantine, which is pretty much your average pirate ship, pirate theme coming out. So Captain Horatio Simbad gave Christian all the advice that Christian needed but then some money was needed for the repairs. So Christian had to get a job. It started off with a trailer. Here's the trailer. After refurbishment and a special system has been added to lift the mast, check out the shine on that checker plate box. Now that 
is a classy way of transporting some of your equipment. Then Christian began the work on the boat, sanding the whole boat down until the fiberglass was visible and then coated it with 545. It's kind of like paint epoxy. Then began the fun work. Christian painted the boat in an ocean blue with white stripes and the name on the stern of each hull. Christian's Hobie's name is Cuda, which is short for Barracuda because you can't have a boat without a name. Now that is just plain rude. After painting the hull, all the spars were next on Christian's list. I'm not actually sure what paint was used here, but I'm sure there'd be a lot of viewers who would be interested in what paint was used to paint the spars and how that has come out. The battens and end caps on the mainsail were looking pretty crusty and some of them were even disintegrating so new ones had to be ordered. There was a brand new logo designed, printed and cut out for the sale. This logo is called Tea Pirates as you can see by the cups. It's called that because Christian loves a cup of tea with some of Christian's family coming from England, which apparently in England, tea is a big thing. And after over a hundred hours of work and quite some considerable expense, the Hobie 14 is ready. And here she is looking absolutely fresh. Those fantastic blue hulls, black spars, the T Pirates logo on the mainsail and a new masthead float on there as well. Always a good idea. Christian can't wait until spring comes around to put Cuda back into the waters of Beaufort, North Carolina for some good sailing. Thanks very much, Christian, for sending us in those pictures and that story of the transformation of your Cuda. She's certainly looking sweet. Next, keeping it in the USA to Scottsdale, Arizona, Fleet 66, where we have the Arizona Pirates catamaran sailing fleet. Ken's first 16 was a trashed Hobie 16, which he picked up for just $400. But the 16 was in poor condition with stained sails and soft hulls. So he decided to do something about that, which is how the boat ended up looking absolutely amazing. Now the zebra, the zebra striped 16 here is with a couple of other boats just ready for the first race in San Diego, California. The top boats in the fleet I wonder what those guys were thinking when they saw this bad boy rock up on a trailer. Ken's next 16, he decided to go pretty lively, as you can see, pictured on the beach here with Rich's My Flying Fish, as previously featured. These coloured sails, Ken painted using an airbrush machine. Standard, off-the-shelf airbrush paint was used but it does fade pretty quickly, so he has to touch it up quite often, but that keeps it looking fresh. And here's Ken on board this 16. Just to show that these sails are actually real as well, and not just a drawing. Fantastic. After Ken's second boat, it was pretty clear but he was hooked on painting boats. To date, Ken has stained and painted 17 catamarans. Now check out this Prindle. Oh my goodness, you'd certainly see that bad boy coming. And check out the Darth Vader mainsail there. 
Here's a G-Cat with another set of my flying fish hulls, popular design. And the latest is this NACRA 5.2. Ken's goal is to give new life to the older boats and to make them fresh, which he is certainly doing in Arizona. Now, Ken, with a bit of time on his hands in between painting boats, has invented storage solution specifically for the Hobie 16, the Hobie hammock. If you want to check that out, just head to the video description below where you'll find a link well worth a look. So thanks very much, Ken, for sending us those pictures of the different boats that you have been putting your hand to. They all look absolutely fantastic. I'm sure people in the Stockdale, Arizona area very much enjoy spotting your handiwork out on the water. So there we go, that's about the size of it. As I said, if you'd like to be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, please send me pictures of your boat or video uh, with some information. Other than that, we'll see you on Wednesday for the Q&A, and then I'll see you next week for more Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Thanks very much.